Hi, this is Dr. Mrindalani Pati and we'll be discussing plant poisons in 5 minutes. First, we have resinous communis. It is also called as R&D or castor. The active principle is resin. The intact seed is not toxic but the crushed seed will be toxic. It inhibits protein synthesis. Next up, we have abris precatorius. It is also called as lunchi, rati seeds or crab eyes. The active principle is abrin which is the most potent form. We also have abrine and abralin. Rati seeds are used to produce sewing needles which are ideal cattle poison and they resemble the viper snake bite. Next we have croton. Croton is also called as Jamal Gota. The active principle is crotin. We also have crotonocide and crotonic acid. Next is Semicarpus anacardium. The active principle is bilavanol. It is also called as bilva. The seeds are called as marking nuts and they are used to produce artificial bruises. Capsicum anum. The active principle is capsicin. It also produces Hunan's hands, that is contact dermatitis to chili powder. Then we have Calotropus. It is also called as Akdo or Mother. Active principle over here is Calotropin or Calotoxin or Calectin. Each and every part of this plant is toxic. Next is Conium Maculatum or also called as Hemlock. The active principle is Conine. It is a peripheral nerve poison and it causes paralysis due to depression of the motor nerves. Next is Papaver Somniferum or Opium. It is made from this unripe capsule on which slits are made and then the white milky exudate pops out like in this case and um, the crude opium contains all the alkaloids and then it is purified. We also have poppy seeds but these are not toxic. Next is Datura or also called as the Thorn Apple or Railway Poison or Roadside Poison. It is commonly used for robbery. All the parts of this plant are toxic but seeds are the most toxic. The active principle over here is Hyocene or Atropin. It has all the anticholinergic effects like dry skin, dry mouth, dilatation of pupil, delirium, drunken gait, death and retention of urine. For treatment, we are going to use Physostigmin. Next is Cannabis. Cannabis is also called as hash, grass, rope, pot, weed, etc. The active principle over here is THC that is tetrahydrocannabinol. We have various preparations like from the dried flowers we can make the reefers or joints. This is the most potent form which is called as the charis. We also have bhang which is made from dried leaves. Let's talk about erythrozylum coca or cocaine. It is also called as white lady, snow, crack which is the smokable form. It is a sympathomimetic and it is usually snorted. Chronic cocaine abuse results in septal ulceration or palatal ulceration, black colored tongue or teeth which is suggestive of chronic abuse. Cocaine bugs or magnan syndrome or formication is also seen. This is a cardiac poison called as aconite. The active principle is aconitin. It blocks the voltage sensitive sodium channels. It has side effects like paresthesia over fingers, mouth and face and hippies which is alternate dilatation and constriction of the pupil. It can have cardiac arrhythmias both bradi and tachy. In case of bradi arrhythmias, atropin has to give, be given and in case of tachy arrhythmias, we have to give amiodaron or flecainite. Hyperkalemia is often seen. It is also called as blue rocket or monk hood or meta zahir or devil's helmet. Then we have oleander. In oleander, we have two different types. We have nerium odorum and cerebra thevacia. The active principle in nerium odorum is folarin or oleandrin and in case of cerebral thevacia, it is cerebrin or thevetin. This is also called as pink oleander and this is yellow oleander. Both of these act through sodium potassium ATPase pump and so digipine is effective in both oleander as well as aconite. This is digitalis. The active principle is cardiac glycoside. It is also called as fox glove. In case of digitalis toxicity, we can again use digipine. Next is a spinal poison, Strychnus nux vomica. It is also called as cochilla seed, dog buttons or quackers buttons. One crushed seed can be fatal. The active principle is strychnin, brucin or loganin. It inhibits glycine in the anterior horn cells which, releases, which causes excitation of the spinal cord, the muscle convulsions and it resembles tetanus.